Hello, I'm Mesa Augustine. Welcome to my lesson on uh, integration. And we are uh, doing uh, indefinite uh, integrals. And this is an indefinite integral because the limits are not given. So let's see how we integrate this uh, integral. Now we have the integral 1 divided by into bracket the square root of x plus 1 times root x dx. So here we are going to do the u substitution. We are going to do the u what substitution. So let's see what we will substitute. So what are you going to substitute? Okay. Let's say that we are going to let u to be equal to the square root of x plus 1. Then let's do the differentiation here. We are going to have the derivative of u with respect to x to be equal to what? Now, first, we have to put root x to the form x to the power n. So let's take root x. Uh, root x is the same as x to the power half. And this is the same as x to the power n. So here we are going to have u to be equal to x to the power half plus 1. Now we can do the differentiation. So the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to half of x to the power negative 1 out of 2. Because if you differentiate this constant, you get 0, which is the same as 1 divided by the square root of x. I have uh, in the description a, a nice video on how to differentiate algebraic uh, functions. In fact, it contains uh, in details how to differentiate all these things and then uh, simplify them. So check the description for that video. It will help you very, very well. But if you want to know how I did this, uh, I have uh, x to the power negative 1 out of 2. So I have x to the power 1 out of 2. And I bring the negative 1 out. For negative 1 times half will give me negative half from the loss of exponents. That is to raise the power to the power multiply the exponents. So this will give me 1 divided by x to the power half and that is 1 on square root of x and I have 1 over 2. So if I multiply this by 1 over 2, I will get back to what I have here. So that is our du on dx. So now let's make dx the subject. So we multiply dx by 1, we are going to get dx. And we multiply du by this, we are going to get 2 root x du. So this is our dx on du. Now let's go and do the substitution. So here, yeah, this integral will now be equal to the integral 1 divided by with x plus 1 is u, so I'll put in u. Very simple as that. And here, I have root x here. So what do I do? What am I going to do? What we are going to do here is very simple. You will take this one and make root x the subject. So from here, I'm going to have u minus 1 is equal to root x. Very simple as that. So I'm going to put a uh, times u minus 1 here and I'll bring my 2 into brackets root x is a u minus 1 du. Very simple as that. And what we see, this one will cancel this. And we are going to have 2 times the integral 1 on u du. If you don't want to go this way, you can just substitute directly and have uh, the integral 1 on u times root x, then 2 root x and this, this one will cancel this and so we're going to have 
2 times integral 1 on u du. So any uh, approach, any of the two approaches for uh, lead you there. So this is a standard integral. If we integrate 1 on u, you get a e u. So you have 2 lean u plus c. Let's bring the absolute value sign. Very simple as that. So you're going to have 2 lean and what is u? u is a square root of x plus 1 plus the constant c. And we are done with our integration. Please leave uh, your complex integral questions at the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also share my videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.